Hey guys, welcome back to Warnit AI. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into the latest update on Humane's AI pin that has stirred up a storm of mixed reactions in the tech community. I'm here to give you an in-depth look at the recent development, real-world application, and what the future hold for this innovative product. Humans AI has been making waves with its unique approach to AI technology. In the recent demo, they showcased some major update to the product that are sure to surprise everyone. From improved performance to enhanced feature, the new AI pin is set to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. One of the most exciting aspects of the new AI pin is its real-world use cases. From healthcare to education, the AI pin has the potential to transform industries and improve lives. Imagine a world where your AI pin helps you navigate complex medical procedures and assists you in learning new languages. The possibilities are endless. Humane is also actively planning to expand the capabilities of the AI pin with a focus on user experience and accessibility. They're working on a new feature that will make the AI pin even more intuitive and easy to access. Whether you are a tech enthusiast or just curious about the future of AI, this update is sure to pique your interest. Today is Sunday, March 17th, and we're here because we have three things to share with you. The first is an update on shipping. The second is an overview of AI pin. And for the third, Imran's going to tell you a little bit about where we're going next. We recently shared that our final software image was sent to the factory and that AI pin will begin shipping from the factory at the end of March. Priority orders will start arriving on April 11th. We'll fulfill all orders through the month of April and if you buy a pin today, it will arrive in early May. We are so excited to be here at this moment. AI pin is the first multimodal device that's wearable and easy to use. It's also incredibly personal, which means the more I tell my pin over time, the better assistant it will be to me. And it also does this without having to download or manage an application, which allows me to stay present in the moment and in flow. I thought I would tell you everything it does, but instead I'm just gonna show you. This is my personal AI pin, and it's the final hardware and software that's shipping to our customers. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by asking my pin about something I asked it to remember for me. What time is my flight to New York? You can ask your pins, remember your schedule, make lists, take notes, Search really your anything. To your flight to New York is at 1 p.m. There's this ice cream shop in New York that makes everything out of bananas. What's it called? Anything that you would search the web for or even use ChatGPT for, you can use on your pin. Makes everything out of bananas is called Morgan Stern's Bananas. Where is it located? You can ask follow-up questions and use your pin to help you navigate the world. Bananas is located at 2 Rivington Street, New York, New York 10002. Very cool. I also remember Freddie sent me something. Freddie sent me a message about the MoMA. What was it? This will search my messages and help me recall information really easily. Freddie said, say hello to Paula Antonelli, senior curator of architecture and design at the MoMA. She's an inspiration and a mentor. Very cool. I'm now going to show you how to use notes to remember your preferences so that it can offer better recommendations in the future, like this. Can you recommend a hotel in Soho? I've asked my pin to remember that I like hotels that have a gym and a restaurant Finding and our three stars hotel. are better. One recommended hotel in Soho is the Soho Grand Hotel. It is a four star hotel located at 310 W Broadway, New York. New York cool. 10013. Really helpful. Now I'm going to show you how to send messages. Send a message to Oliver and ask her how she's doing and if she wants spaghetti for dinner tonight. It makes you the copy editor, Sending not the, the writer. Hey Oliver, how are you doing? Do you want spaghetti for dinner tonight? To Oliver. Make it sound like Gen Z. And what's cool is you can make it more formal or casual Sending or even do message. fun things. Hey Oliver, how's it going? Do you want to have spaghetti for dinner tonight? Let me know, fam, to Oliver. <laughs> really fun. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a phone call. Call Lori. Making phone calls is really liberating. It feels really hands-free and lets you stay in the moment. Hello? Hey, Laura, how's it going? Hey, good, how are you? I'm good. I was wondering if you could help me with Ollie this week. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thanks so much. Okay, I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.
taking phone calls is really incredible. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make photos and videos like this. That takes three photos and to take a video, you go like this. This takes 15 seconds of HD video and I can pause it like this. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use AI to search music. What's that song by 21 Savage that has the violin intro? You can ask for anything you want. Finding 21 Savage song. The song by 21 Savage with a violin intro is called Red Rum. <laughs> really cool. Play that song. You can also then ask questions about the music you're listening to, which is really powerful. This was sampled from another song. What song was that? You can both ask for songs you want to listen to, albums, Searching artists, song. really anything. The song Red Rum by 21 Savage samples vocals from the Brazilian song Serenata do Adias by Elza Laranjira. Next, I'm going to show you how to use our interpreter feature. AI Pin can speak and understand over 50 languages, and it works like this. Translate to Portuguese. Set to Portuguese. Isn't that cool? Noel Bell. AI Pin is set up to be your second brain and your assistant, and it's really incredible. Looks like I got a message. Let's hear it. Imran is excited to show customers what they have in the lab. I'm really excited for you to see what Imran has in store, but also for you all to get your AI pins. So let's go check it out. Bethany did an amazing job giving you an overview of what's in our first release. She saved my favorite feature for me to show you, and that's vision. Vision is an amazing part of AI pins multimodal capabilities, and you can use it to help you understand and make some decisions. Let me show you how it works. I'm gonna grab uh, one of the objects I've got here. It's an old school Walkman. Look at this and tell me when it first came out. And so what it's doing is it's scanning the image to try and understand what it is. It's also taking what I asked and combining that. The Sony that. Walkman Sports WM-F73 was released in 1986. Amazing, got exactly what I wanted out of it. You can go further and I've got some uh, old school shoes here. Look at these and tell me who designed them. Same thing, it's scanning it, trying to figure out what I asked for, and then analyzing the image to try and figure out what it is. The now Air it's doing Jordan a search. Was designed by Peter Moore for Nike. And it figured out Peter Moore designed them, so I didn't have to. It's fantastic. Vision is gonna be coming out as a beta, so you'll all be able to give it a shot. Um, super fun, and it's really just the beginning. We're also using vision for things like nutrition, and I've asked Josh to give you a sense of what we're doing there. Like Imran said, vision powers our nutrition tracking experience. So I can just hold up a piece of food and ask questions about it. Look at this and tell me how much sugar's in it. So it's taking an image, scanning for the object, and then going off to our nutrition partner to look up nutrition facts about that uh, piece of food, in this case, this donut, to find out how much sugar's in it. A glazed donut typically contains around 15 grams of sugar. <laughs> wow, that's a lot less than I thought. I'm gonna eat it. Enjoy your glazed donut. Great, so now it's tracked that and I can go back to our web interface on humane.center to see how I'm doing through the day. So this is an early look at uh, nutrition tracking on Dot Center. We've broken up your intake into the macronutrients, your fats, protein, and carbs. You can even set goals so you can track how you're doing from day to day. And if you decided that you actually only wanted to eat half a donut, probably a wiser choice, you can change that right here. We're also working on a visual shopping experience enabling you to shop the world with some of your favorite retailers. We get a lot of questions about how AI Pin fits into your life. AI Pin is a completely new form factor for compute. It's never been about replacing. It's always been about creating new ways to interact with what you need. So instead of having to sit down to use a computer or reaching into your pocket and pulling out your phone and navigating apps, AI Pin allows you to simply act on something the moment you think about it, letting AI do all the work for you. So this interaction of looking up and simply speaking is how we're pushing compute forward. 
For me, it's helpful to be able to use AI Pin while I'm on my laptop. And yes, you can use it while it's on its charge pad. Let me show you. I've got After Effects here, and I'm just gonna ask it a question. How do I time stretch while using After Effects? And it's, of course, gonna go off and find that answer, allowing me to stay focused and in the flow. Finding Time Stretch Guide. To time stretch in After Effects, select the layer and go to Layer Time Time Stretch. Then, enter the desired duration or stretch factor in the dialog box. I would have probably watched some YouTube videos to get that answer. This saves me a ton of time, which is great. We're also doing some really cool stuff with our charge case, and I'm gonna ask Vasu to show us what we're doing there. We're working on making it possible to use AI pin while in the charge case. Do I need an umbrella today? Pretty easy. No, you do not need an umbrella today. The weather in San Francisco is sunny with no precipitation expected. Can't wait for you to try this. Remember, AI Pin works with any compatible Bluetooth headset, speaker, and car. Now I want to show you the potential of AI Pin to actually create content like a spreadsheet. Let me show you. Make a spreadsheet about top consumer tech reviewers on YouTube. Make sure to include their real names, subscribe accounts, and URLs. Now it's going off and doing all this research for you, trying to figure out who the top ones are, and it's collecting them into a spreadsheet so that you can just look at it. Just look at it. Let me bring it up here. All right, here I've got it. Um, I've got uh, everything ranked by subscriber count. It's got the URLs in there. Looks like there's 21. I asked for 20, so we've got an extra. But you know, you get the point. What's really cool here is that it's completely reduced the friction of me being able to get what I want. And it's me driving the computer. What I want to show you now is how AI Pin can connect to other devices. And for that, I'm going to hand it off to George. I don't know about you, but I get a lot of notifications on my phone. They're really hard to manage. And that's one of the reasons why we made Catch Me Up in the first place when we were designing Cosmos. We didn't want to burden you with a bunch of notifications that you have to sift through. And instead, we let AI do the work of summarizing them for you. Currently, it only works for AI pin things, like phone calls and text messages. But what if it could work with other devices, too? Wouldn't it be great to get caught up on everything happening on your phone just as simply as this? Catch me up. Colin Cornwell suggested getting Chloe's Cafe again this weekend on Instagram. Sam Sheffer sent a message asking if you want to see Dune again. Imran Chaudhry sent a message on WhatsApp asking if you want to go out to a show next weekend. Your Arlo Secure camera detected a person at the doorbell multiple times today. And just like that, I got caught up on everything that happened on my phone without taking it out of my pocket. This is about technology adapting and reacting to you, not you having to adapt to it. AI Pin is our first entry point to Cosmos, our AI OS. And in the future, Cosmos will be able to run on other devices as well. There is a green field in front of us. Cosmos runs on device and on the server, and we can integrate with as many LLMs and services that we want to, to be able to create new experiences. Without apps, Cosmos can do all of the work for you, without you having to miss out on all of the conveniences technology has to offer, allowing you to stay present and in the moment. We'll be shipping regular software upgrades on Cosmos, making sure that you are constantly updated with the best features. We're exploring a new way to unlock the AI pin. It uses gestures on the touchpad. You first draw a circle to enter the mode, and then you do a combination of taps and swipes. And if you get it right, it unlocks. We are also working on integrating Google Calendar into AI Pin, which means that you know what's happening now and what's happening in the future. So for example, I can say, what's next on my calendar? Your next event is a navigation experience design review at 5.30 p.m. in the large conference room. And then I can also ask follow-up questions. How long is that meeting and is Imran attending? The Navigation Experience Design Review meeting is scheduled for 30 minutes, from 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Imran Chaudhry is attending the meeting. It's a great way to stay on top of my calendar. Super excited about what Liz and Daniel just showed you. We've also got timers and time-based reminders on deck as well. 
Now, let's talk about agents. Agents are smart helpers that observe and understand things for you so they can help you make better decisions and take actions as well. I'm gonna hand it over to George to let you know what we're doing there. Agents are great. You can be specific with your request and they'll do their best to get whatever you need. So I can say something like, go to Hypebeast and tell me what's on the design section. And it's gonna to go to Hypebeast and navigate to the design section and summarize it for me. Searching design section. On the Hypebeast design section, you can find articles about Craig Hill's new pocket knife. Samuel Ross is the artistic director of London Design Biennale 2025, IKEA's 80th anniversary collection, and the opening of Mori JP Tower in Tokyo. Pretty awesome. You can just surf the web with your voice. Agents are pretty great, and they're part of our strategy with Cosmos. And remember, Cosmos is an operating system that works both on device as well as on the server. One of the things that we're really excited to share with you today is something that we call Dynamic UI. Let me show you how it works. What's the flight status of Virgin Atlantic VS-19? So let me show you. And there you can see it's automatically figured out that LHR is my destination and SFO Sorry, LHR is my origin and SFO is my destination. So even figured out where to get me the, uh, the gate as well. What's the uh, score of last night's Warriors game? Look at that, 128 to 121. Really large numbers, just like a really good designer would have laid it out for you. But remember, this is dynamic UI. AI is making these decisions for you. One more. What's NVIDIA's stock price? And you can imagine what this might look like. I'll bring it up for you. Look at that. NVIDIA, nice and big, along with the Delta. Um, that's pretty good, NVIDIA. So Dynamic UI, such an important piece of our SDK and the building blocks of how you're gonna be able to build amazing experiences. We've got one last thing that we wanna share with you and that's news about our SDK. And I've asked Ken to come tell you all about it. We're gonna be delivering our SDK in three phases. In the first phase, you're gonna be able to connect your services to the AI pin using REST APIs and OAuth. In the second phase, you're gonna be able to run your code on Cosmos Cloud to integrate more closely with all of our AI services. And in the third phase, you're gonna be able to run your code on the AI pin itself to get access to the mic, the camera, the sensors, and the laser. We are so excited to see what you're gonna build. Thanks, Ken. The first phase of our SDK will drop in the second half of this year. And if you wanna find out more about developing for AI pin, send us an email at develop at humane.com. It's been an incredible journey to get to this point, and this is just the beginning. AI pins will be in your hands in just a few weeks. To everyone that's bought one so far, everyone at Humane thanks you. And for anyone that's new on this journey, welcome. And of course, thank you for watching. Have a look at my fit and tell me what you think. Honest opinion. Roast me. <laughs> yeah. I wonder Your if it... fit looks great. The Ooh. dark toned outfit with the denim jacket, dark shirt, and jeans is cohesive and stylish. The high top sneakers complete the look. Well done. Oh! oh that was awesome! So what do you think about the latest update on Humane's AI pin? Are you excited about the potential of this innovative product or do you have reservations? Let me know in the comment section below and stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.